trying to play jazz standards on the piano. You know, you usually start off learning a melody and some rootless voicings or just some way to play them, but it's nice to kind of have a little arrangements for these songs. And this is something that, you know, since I don't play many jazz gigs, or maybe I'm just lazy, uh, I don't have many arrangements for jazz standards. So I was working on a little something this morning on Green Dolphin Street. And let's see, this song goes like an E, I'm gonna play it in E flat. That's a good key for it. All right, so I'm gonna use a, like a nice open voicing there with all fourths, all right? Right there, I'm going to use some more fourths, and I'm going to move this around a little bit. And I don't, I don't know what you call this exactly, but you're just you're going to play these fourths diatonically in the key of E flat minor. And I'm going to end down there on F7 because that's where I want to get to. All right, but check out how this works. Now, this is kind of a modern approach to playing. Um, what scale am I using? I guess I'm using E flat Dorian, which is like the D flat major scale. So I just, anytime I got a black key to play, I'll play it. And anytime I get to a white key, I'll play the upper white key because in a D flat major scale, that's what it is. Right? The upper white key and that white key there. So, you know, it's pretty easy to move this around. You know, say E flat minor, like E flat minor, like this. And then you go up. And you go up, you hit those two white keys, back down, and you go like that. All right, so all this stuff works in E flat minor. All right, so uh, I'll start. All right, so I, I managed to end up down there. And then, you know, you're, you're the next part starts in on F minor. It's a 2-5-1 in F minor. Sometimes you can proceed it with a little... Oh, how would that be? Uh, like that. That's called the move. One, four, three, six. Gets you to the two chord. Um, probably wouldn't do that in this arrangement, though. seventh. All right, now right here, I'm going to use a nice open voicing. This comes from some of those formulas we went over, but it's just the root, the fifth, seventh, and the third, and the melody note. And then I'm going to use drop two to do that. All right, F minor, a diminished chord in between. That's how you do this. You take F minor, you do a diminished chord, F minor, diminished chord, F minor, you go stay in F minor there. So when you do drop two, you just take this note and move it down there and usually get rid of some note in there too. Okay, and then I'm gonna play G minor, right, because it's in, it's in the key there. And then I'm gonna use these fourths to go up with the melody like that. All right, so I've got this. All right, and I think I'm gonna, hit that note in there to make it kind of a Lydian thing. Lydian, right? So here it is. All right. And then we'll do the same thing in, uh, let's do A flat minor. I'll use the same voicing, root five, seven, three, with the melody note. And then you know, I'm doing A flat minor here, so there's my A flat minor, and the seventh, right, normally would be there. So I'm playing it down there. This is drop two. Diminished chord, but that was wrong. And then I'm going to use fourths. Add my Lydian there. So let's see how that sounds.
just stuff like that. Yeah, see that Lydian thing? It goes nicely into a B flat seventh, take us back to the A section. There's a lot of chords in this next part, so I'm going to try to do kind of the same thing. See, uh. All right, so I used a little reharmonization trick here. F minor, still F minor, really, and then D minor 7th, G 7th, and there's a flat 13 here, but when I get to this note, I'm going to, uh, the regular 13, I'm going to flatten the 13, and then I could use some fourths, maybe like that, but I think I'll just hit a big C minor chord. A lot of times, you know, if you're moving from a, a minor chord and you move down to like the half diminished down there, you can kind of go like this, right? Do the B flat minor. Right? All right, how about that for a D chord? You know, typical D, but throw in like that tritone thing on A flat. It gives you the flat nine and the sharp 11th, I think. Same kind of chord there, see? All right, what can we do for improvisation? All right, then E flat minor. All right, I like to use the blues scale on minor chords a lot, and E flat minor is a particularly tough one. But it's gotten a lot easier since I changed my fingering to this little three fingered doohickey. harmony there. 